The Administrative Procedure Act, or APA, calls for notice and comment rulemaking. This rulemaking process requires agencies to notify the public and give them an opportunity to comment on proposed rules before finalizing them. The Ninth Circuit considered whether an agency determination constituted rulemaking subject to the notice and comment process in the 1994 case Yesler Terrace Community Council v. Cisneros. Ordinarily, public housing tenants are entitled to a pre-eviction grievance hearing before the Public Housing Authority, or PHA, responsible for their community. The PHA can skip the grievance hearing if the eviction involves drugs or other criminal activity, but only if the Department of Housing and Urban Development, or HUD, has determined that court eviction procedures in the state comply with due process standards. In the early 1990s, HUD determined that court eviction procedures in Washington state complied with due process standards. Consequently, several Washington PHAs amended their lease agreements to reflect that there would be no pre-eviction grievance hearing for any tenant being evicted for drug or crime-related reasons. A few months after that, public housing tenant Marla Davison received an eviction notice, which informed her that she wouldn't be provided with a grievance hearing because her eviction involved alleged criminal activity. Yesler Terrace Community Council and Davison filed suit against HUD Secretary Henry Cisneros in federal district court, seeking declaratory and injunctive relief on behalf of a class of Washington public housing tenants. Yesler and Davison, who was later replaced as a named plaintiff by another tenant, Eric Bolden, argued that the HUD due process determination was invalid. The alleged reason was that the determination constituted rulemaking, and the agency failed to give public housing tenants notice and an opportunity to comment. The district court entered summary judgment for HUD, leading to an appeal before the Ninth Circuit, 